Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Notions One. My name is Ben, and this is just a video to show you a uh, electronic speed controller and motor combo that I bought a while back, and I'm very impressed with it. This is why I want to make this review. This is my HPI Sprint 2 touring car or it could be used as a drift car so you can see it's got a Porsche 911 turbo shell in purple on it this is the Castle Sidewinder 2 electronic speed controller doesn't have a fan but you can get a, uh, a surround or shroud and fit a fan to it if you wish it has an on-off switch, unlike my HPI Vector, which doesn't have an on-off switch, comes straight on when you plug the battery in. And the Castle 5 700 kilovolt four-pole motor it says 100,000 RPM max, but that is exaggerating, I think. Now this car is a HPI Sprint 2. And it is belt driven as you can see, it's got, i fitted that actually, a front belt tensioner to keep the belt taut, and the rear belt is actually pretty tight at the moment. I don't take this car out very often because I've also got a HPI Electronic Firestorm, an FTX Vantage, and a Tamiya TO1 with sleeker shell that I'm working on at the moment. Uh, yeah, the speed controller, it's very reliable, it's meant to be waterproof, although I haven't tested this, so do it, do so at your own risk if you own one of these. I think the Sidewinder SV3, this is an SV2, the SV3 is meant to be waterproof as well, and the motor is definitely waterproof, I know that. I haven't unfortunately got a receiver box for it, the receiver is... Uh, velcroed onto the top deck here so I wouldn't resist in the rain because of the receiver on its own if I had a receiver box I would take this out in wet conditions it has a 29 tooth pinion gear and the standard spur gear which is 67 tooth it's big but it's very good for high speed runs on free cell lipo I always use free cell I changed the uh, motor plates these here that and that to the orange ones which is the sport version of this so I could fit the front belt tensioner because there is uh, a bit here that you need to screw in to stop the belt tensioner from moving about see it doesn't move I'm using a lot of force there and it ain't moving anywhere and I fitted new rear belt pulleys it's white there because I used uh, contact adhesive glue which is the same as super glue to glue the uh, plastic on the other side of the belt to the uh, pulley because as a kit these pulleys come in two pieces and they need to be together if they're not together they come loose and the belt can slip off I've also had the rear diff and the front diff both out open them up make sure they're all alright haven't replaced this bit here at the back and I could do with a 2mm e-clip which uh, you might no, if you know about radio control cars and e-clips, yeah, they are very annoying to fit and to remove unless you've got special pliers to remove them and fit them. I don't have special tools for it. I use a pair of pl normal pliers and the flathead screwdriver to get them on. So, I've also replaced the nuts in the rear bulkhead. As you can see, screw there, screw there, screw there, screw there on the other side. Because if I, I had to look in the manual of uh, how to do that because it wasn't very really well documented anywhere on the internet as to where the nuts actually went. But now it's working sound. 
had a bit of a problem with, I can't remember which one it was. One of the joint cuts, one of, one of, I can't see it there, one of these, where the uh, dog bone, or it's called a drive shaft in the UK, where the dog bone meets the uh, differential, the joint cup attaches to the differential inside, and it's held in place by another E-clip, as you can guess, yes. Uh, so, oh yeah, so I had to fit some fuel tubing, I don't have it at hand, but it's it's, it's a tubing you use for nitro radio control cars, and I just cut a bit off and put it inside here because the dog bone kept coming loose. I, I have a slight shattering as well of the steering, but it's not much of a problem. It only happens when it's on about three quarters lock, full lock, shatters when I'm at like full full revs but it doesn't affect the performance at all so I'm, I'm I'm just leaving it. I've tried fixing it but it seems an absolute nightmare to me so I'm, I'm leaving it. Anyway the review is about the motor and the speed controller. I estimate that this car will do 55 or 60 miles an hour with the gearing that I've got on it at the moment with free cell with a free cell lipo battery that is the speed I'm estimating at comparing it with my other radio control cars which are actually faster this is obviously a car which isn't designed for speed as much as the buggy and the truck or truggy as some people call them this has got some Schumacher Sorex 24R racing tyres in fact, the, the the ones on it on the ones I just said, the ones on it are HPI. They're plastic. These aren't even rubber, but they're really good for drifting because they haven't got much grip. Ah, it's ideal. Really good. Four wheel drive. Uh, yeah, I recommend this combo if you want to run a free cell battery and you have a buggy, a truck, but it's one in ten scale or you have a car similar to this but maybe a different make I would go for Castle 5700 or even a, I think they make a 6900 kV but I'm not sure if you'll get away with a, a free cell lipo with a 6900 kV because that's taking it to an absolute limit and it might overheat either the ESE or the motor so read up on it, I haven't read up on the, the uh, 6900 kV motors because I don't have one uh, yeah all in all very good system Came, I actually specified for them to solder the Dean's connector on to uh, my ESE where I bought it from an eBay shop because I can't, these are a, a faff, a hassle to fit is it a soldering that has to go into it and and it, it's hard to get it right so I got them to do it, save me time did it for free which is good of them yeah so anyway I hope you've enjoyed watching this video I'll end it now because it's coming up to coming up to nine minutes so it's a bit lengthy for one of my videos and uh, yeah, as I said, it's meant to be waterproof, meant to be, but test it at your own risk. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you wish, and comment if you have anything to add, or any, any, anything you want to ask me about this combo, I can make more videos to show you different things. Thanks for watching, have a nice day.